Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some really big news and you guys are gonna love this. So if you guys remember, my old red Shelby had some, I don't wanna say the word, but amazing, sick, signature wheels and brushed bronze. Well, if you look back there, we got something for the new Shelby. I don't wanna give you too many details yet, but you guys probably peaked the drag radios in the background there. So I did get a set of signature wheels for the new Shelby. So the top boxes look a little bit weird. There's a reason for that. And I'll explain that here in a few minutes, but I'm gonna unbox them live for you guys. So you guys can see my honest and true reaction. Like I said, I've had a set of these signature wheels before and they uh, they kind of exceeded my expectations. You know, the deer is going, that reflex detail is going to ceramic coat these as well. So they're gonna look real nice when they're done. But um, yeah, they, uh, they're gonna go on the Shelby here soon. And the reason I bring up Hadir at Reflex Detailing is because he's gonna be involved a little bit more on the new Shelby for a ceramic coating job. Right, so these all out, these all out. Let's try not to hit the 14 Shelby. And let's get these on box, so. Boxes there, my address is on it, so we will turn it this way and then I will unbox them. So there's a reason I'm unboxing these bottom ones first, and the cardboard's not gonna kill the car, so I unbox them backwards. So that's cool. What I'll do is I'll just flip them over and I'll get you guys a close up in a second, but Oh man, you can even see the barrel of the wheels are even beautiful. And these are a lot, um, I don't know if my old ones were just dirty and just turned more brushed or more like, you know, deeper bronze, but these things look a lot lighter and more like charcoalish. But here, let's, let's get these out. So I did it, do the same design as much as I love the old design. I, I don't want to do something different this time. So I believe, I don't remember the exact pattern and I'm actually gonna look right now and show you guys um, I'll tell you guys what pattern it is. So these are going to be the SV 104s with the the bead uh, knurling system is what they call it, curling to hold the tire on it. These are for the front, so that doesn't that's not really necessary. But here they are, and they look amazing, honestly. So you can kind of see, I guess, from the front they do look a little bit more bronze than they did from the rear. And I'm not a big fan of the chrome on the signature part there. So I'm having uh, them send out just all bronze ones and then I do black lug nuts. So you can see here, what does that say? SRA, um, not sure what that stands for. I'm sure Terrence is signature wheel can correct me. Uh, he's the man over there. Sign Terrence hooks up all the GT500 guys and gets them set on these signature wheels. But these things are phenomenal. And the reason I'm unboxing them today is because we're gonna get them mounted um, and get them ready to go on the car. So right now I'm gonna put this back on and let me show you guys why I waited for those. So we're gonna do a close up of these and I'm gonna show you guys why these are so different than the uh, the ones below it. So I'm gonna pull all this off really quick. Try not to cut my finger. And we're not actually even gonna go bother taking that yellow off. Actually, yeah, I'll just think bobbing, bobbing or weaving in the way here. So hopefully I didn't open these backwards like I did the other ones. And we're gonna be able to look at them right away. So what I did differently on these, you're gonna see in just a second, this makes sense why the front of them are more secure with all this foam and cardboard and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna unbox these. Exactly, so here's the front of the wheel. If you guys can tell already, and I'm sure you guys already, are, some of you guys already guessed it, these are not the same and the reason I say that is because these are 18s. 
Front wheels are 20 by 11, the rears are 18 by 11, I believe. I can uh, confirm that right now. Um, rears are 18 by 11. So I want to do more of a drag setup. My old car was on 20 inch wheels and I didn't get too much down low power on it. I didn't get to you know, enjoy it because it kept spinning. So I'm doing more of a 18 inch setup. And if you guys look closely, I can see if I can try to get it in the camera here. It has these, they're called knurling or curling things. And this is more of like a, you know, cheap way to beadlock a wheel, I'd say. Um, you know, they had an option to beadlock these wheels, but it was significantly more than I was willing to pay for it, even though they look sweet. I have a few friends that have beadlocks on their cars and, um, you know, with these signature wheels. But this is a good way to prevent, I believe, you know, don't, don't hold me to it, but prevent the wheel from, the tire from spinning on the wheel. So we're gonna actually take these to the tire shop and get these mounted. And I'll show you guys the tires after I'm done, but I'm using those bottom tires and then I have a set of Michelin PS4S's in the back of my truck right now. So let's get these uh, back in the box here and get them loaded. I have the new GT500 here on the lift at my house and I wanted to show you guys TJ, buddy of mine who installed the headers on the car, installed these as well. And these are called Cortex Vertical Links. And what they do is, I don't know exactly what suspension part they replace here. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not too familiar with how everything works, control arm, sway bar links, all that stuff. I haven't really looked into it, but it replaces something here, um, assuming some kind of, um, you know, like I said, suspension part and it makes it where it's tighter and you can fit a smaller wheel in here. I'm assuming the link that was here before came down to probably by here and it wouldn't fit an 18 inch wheel. Like I said, um, this is meant for 18 inch specific wheels. You can go smaller than 18 inch wheels on the new Shelby's. Obviously he did one side, so he did the other side, which is right here. He did the other side and you could see how much more room it has to clear versus you know, having a uh, 20 inch wheel to 19 inch. And that's probably about all you can fit. So. I also got those through Terrence as his signature wheels, but I wanted to show you guys that to you know let you know I'm not just throwing these on, bolt on. 18s do not just bolt on to the new Shelby's. You need a Cortex link from what I know, so. So just got back from the tire shop and opened the garage and man, love this 2014 Shelby. I'm not sure if uh, any of you new guys don't know about the car or anything, but this is a 2014 Shelby GT500 glass roof last year made for the manual transmission Shelby GT500s. But I got the wheels back and let me show you how good they look. With the Michelin front tires and the M&H rear tires, um, the tire shop was mentioning that they're out around and a lot of them are usually out around the M&H tires and they usually like sway or they shake and they just, um, they hook but they might be out around. So I'll have to contact m and before um, I do any driving on those or after if they decide they uh, do shake and sway like that. But I'm gonna get these unloaded, but they look amazing. Let me get one uh, up close. Here they are in the sunlight. They look real pretty. I can't wait to get these over to Hadir to get them ceramic coated. But these are real, real nice 315, 30, 20 front tires. A buddy of mine has the same wheels and he put the 305 fronts and his seem like they kind of warp in round in and these seem like they're perfectly flush and i already had 315s on the front of my old shelby so i figured these would be perfect and then i have the m and h's here with the 18s and they sit perfectly flush if you see like this they don't stick out and they sit flush and they're gonna look sweet on the car in the sunlight now they look crazy they almost look like a silver but when you get up close you can kind of see there that bronze and again the uh, direct sunlight's really hardly ever going to be on them but these look great i'm super happy with me choosing this new design and they actually look good in bronze i don't think i've seen anyone else with the same setup which is super sweet and terrence actually at signature sent me the center cap overlays which i'm not sure if i want to use those or i want to use the um complete bronze center cap and then also those m &H tires, I'll have to figure it out. Um, they're gonna hook, a lot of cars spin either way, but as long as they hook, <laughs> or not spin, they, they shake a little bit. As long as they hook, it should be fine. Um, you know, I, don't, I can't imagine they're gonna shake that much, but they put weights in there because of that, you know, extra weights. So we'll see how it does. I know it's gonna hook for sure. Just hope it doesn't shake too much or sway. The center cap 
uh, Snickers from Terrence look really sweet. You can't really tell with the, you know, kind of that rainbow shimmer, but it has a bronze tint to it. I can see if I can turn the light on and you can kind of see without the sunlight on it, it just has a bronze shimmer. I'm not exactly sure if I want to install these. I kind of prefer the regular bron all bronze center caps, but I have an idea what I can do with these, um, which would be sweet. But these are the ones that were sent and I'm not sure if these are released to the public. But if so, hit up signature wheels on these. I hope you guys enjoyed the new wheels. Comment down below your thoughts on them. Um, I think the red and bronze combo on my old GT500 is an awesome setup. And I honestly think the green is gonna be just as nice. Like I said, I had uh, green um, and bronze. I had bronze wheels on my green Trackhawk and those looked phenomenal as well. Bronze is in style right now. Uh, I don't know how much longer it's gonna be in style, but I still love the bronze on the uh, green and red cars and even white silvers blacks like bronze really looks good on any car that's why a lot of manufacturers are doing it but if you guys enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe for more videos um comment down below besides that follow me on instagram my instagram is at sinister lifestyle so uh sinister underscore lifestyle follow my business page at sinister auto sales if you're looking to sell your car buy any new performance cards my number is 248-365-0306 besides that i'm out of here guys thanks for watching